Hey Flosstube, it's Gina stitching with my bestie. This is uh, Flosstube number 14, February the 2nd. Actually, it's Super Bowl Sunday. I don't know if uh, y'all all watch Super Bowl, but I don't really watch it unless my team's playing, which of course, I'm from Louisiana, so that's the Saints. So we're not in the playoffs, so I'm just gonna probably watch movies with my husband tonight, because he's not a big sports person. Um, I don't, wanted to real quick say uh, my condolences for the loss of Leanne from Lost in Floss last weekend, um, Barb and her family, I just um, really, my prayers are going out to them, and I just know it's going to be really hard on Barb, so just keep her, them in your prayers. And um, Jen from Quirks and Stitches and Julie from Gulf, Gulf Coast Stitcher um, are both uh, gotten together, and they're doing a um, Instagram called, um, let's see what it's called, Lost in Stitchy Wishes, and then basically, if you want to grant a wish, or if you want a wish granted for a pattern that you can do in um, honor of Leanne, then you can go to that um, Instagram and post something on there, and people are having their wishes granted and are granting wishes for other people. It's just kind of a little tribute to Leanne. And, um, you know, you can watch uh, both of their floss tubes and uh, particularly Julie's and get some information about that. They're also continuing on with the baby. It's called Outside Stitch Along that, that uh, Leanne and Barb are doing. So if you want to join in, um, you can do that. I think Beth Twist has, um, on her Heart Street Samplery, has patterns on her Etsy that you can go and purchase and stitch along with them. So I just wanted to let y'all know about those things. Uh, we had our local stitching meetup. We had a great time. It was, um, we had 16 people come and we were there from 10 to 4 on, on several, two Saturdays ago. And it was really fun. Um, uh, it was nice putting some faces with some, um, names that I had, um, come, you know, met through Facebook and, uh, that have watched my YouTube and, um, so that was really fun. So if you'd like to come, we're doing it again on February the 15th. That'll be our second meeting. And um, it's from 10 to 4. You can join my Facebook group called Stitching with My Bestie. Oh, there's my dog barking. And um, that has all the information about where it's located and everything. I don't like to put that location on YouTube because... I just don't feel like that's a safe thing to do. Anybody could show up. So go ahead and join the group to get the information. And even if you don't can't come or you want to join our group, you're welcome to. We talk about different stuff. Like we've had some people posting what they're working on and what their um, what their finishes have done been this year so far and things like that. So sorry about all the noise. My dogs are out playing and they're very loud. I've got two big German shepherds. <laughs> So let's see. Uh, so that's on February the 15th. Um, please be sure if you're going to come to RSVP because last time we had just enough chairs for everybody. We um, had a full house. I mean, we have more chairs. We just didn't set up more. So um, I would I need to set up some extra tables and chairs the next time if we're going to have more people. So that was really a lot of fun, though. So we had a great time. Um, I'm going to, several people have put some pictures from that on their um, Instagrams. I didn't, I didn't take any pictures. I wasn't really feeling good that day, so I was kind of like, you know, not really with it. But um, next time I will take some pictures and put on my Instagram. My Instagram is lost underscore, I mean, I'm sorry, lost. <laughs> I was gonna say lost and lost. My, my Instagram is love underscore two stitch. So, um, Let's see. Um, what am I? What have I been working on? What have I been doing? So I have been trying to to weed down my whips. And so last time I told y'all I was going to pick some whips every like one whip a week and work on it. And so that's kind of what I've been doing. I did make a list of all my whips. I'm going to show you. So I have this little page in my planner, and I put the date and the whips that I've started before. And I had 21 whips. Okay, and I did have, I did finish Merry Christmas, which I showed y'all last time. I want to show y'all that real quick, because I didn't show you the actual pattern. I didn't have it last time. Or did I? Maybe I got up and got it, but this is it. So this was my first finish, and I was so excited to finish it. I think I got up and did find my pattern and knocked some stuff down. You know how it is whenever you're 
two weeks later, you don't remember exactly what you did. So, But that's my first finished whip for 2020. And so that was exciting. I got one done. And then, um, so I started working on my whips. And um, I didn't finish another whip, but I did have another finish. So I'll show you that in a minute. But um, I tried to pick uh, four whips. So I started with this one right here. And it is Summer ABCs. Let's see. And I worked on that, and I got down to all the way to here. I think whenever I was started on it, I was up here at the O, I think. And so the first that week, I worked on this. And my goal was to at least put um, seven uh, strands of floss in, so to work on it for about, you know, uh, five hours. And I just I just worked on it and until I couldn't, I didn't feel like working on it anymore. So every day I would just pick it up and do a little bit more on it. So I've got this house, but I started switching the house, and I'm not sure if I want to do it in white, and that's why I stopped. And so I didn't um, finish it. But um, that's where I'm at on that. So that was nice to get like some progress on this whip because I haven't worked on it since the summer when I started it. So that's that one. And then I also worked on this one. This is called Darling Buds of May by Blackbird Design. And this is where I'm at on this one. So I put this in. I finished this. I added some in here and in here. So I did work on this. Not as much as I worked on the summer one, but I did work on it about 30 minutes every day for a week. So that's the second one I worked on. Oh, I bit my pattern. All right. And then, of course, Snow Garden, which I'm working on. My goal was kind of to try to do one of these a month, but with me trying to, like, work on my whips and... and I'm having to change all the colors on this one, so it's been a little bit slow because I had to like go through and figure out really what I wanted to do, and I'd kind of do some test stitching and then decide I didn't like that. So um, this is how far I've gotten on this one. So I started working on the peacock, and I started working on the house, and I did a little that, and I added a little bit more to this border in here that I hadn't. So that's only how far I got. And I decided that, you know, I don't have really have a goal of when I need to have this done. But I just want to work on it every, you know, month. I want to work on it, you know, I try to work on this some every week. So um, I'm going to get back to that this this week and see how far I can get. It's going to be one of my focus pieces this week. So I'm really enjoying stitching it too. And it's really different from theirs. You know, they did the light border. I'm doing it darker. I've seen a lot of different people do it different ways. And I think it's really interesting to see the changes in colors and stuff that they're doing. So it's a lot of fun. But that's my snow garden. And then this is one I really, really focused on this whip here. So how many whips was that I did? Uh, finished, let's see. I did... Worked on that, worked on that. I could have sworn there was another one, but I'm forgetting. But this is the one that I'm almost finished with this, and I would have had a finish to show y'all, except for I'll show you why. And this is Little House Needleworks, and it's called Heart of America. I started this last year. Did I start this for, um, maybe for, for um, Stitch Mania? I'm not really can't really sure exactly when, but I know I started it last spring. And so this is how far I've gotten. Let me get this so you can see it better. So here it is. And the only thing I have left is this word right here, land. And the reason why I have it left is because I stitched it in the wrong color. And I've got, I'm restitching it for the second time. But besides that, and then sewing all the buttons on, so it's got a little lamb here, it's got an acorn here, a little um, black crow goes here, and then there's three black stars that go here. So once I get this here done, which I'm going to do when I finish here today, I'll finish stitching that. I'm going to iron it, sew the buttons on, and then I'm going to take it um, 
in uh, about two and a half weeks, I'm going to um, Accents. I'm going to take it to be framed. I've been dying to get this thing framed. I just love it. So the next time you see this, it will actually be fully finished in a frame. It's one of those that I've decided I'm going to get professionally framed because I really love it and I want it um, to put it up and keep it up all year round. It's not something I'm going to do just for, um, you know, for the season all, which I have a few things I'm going to do that this year, but but um, something that I'll keep up all the time. And um, I remember last time I told y'all that they had these two places here for your date. Well, I ended up stitching the date here. And it said year, and then it had the date, but I didn't really like that, so I just stitched the actual year. And then here I put my initials. And right here was a place to, for you to put your initials. But my father was in the service, and um, he was career um, Air Force, and he served in Vietnam. And so I just decided that I wanted to do this in tribute to him, so I actually put my father's um, initials here. So I really love this piece, though. And since I was, I did that tribute one to my mother with the rose a while back, I thought this would be nice, something to, to do a tribute to my dad. So, anyway, that's my um, almost finish. <laughs> so next time you see me, I will have that's that'll be my second finish for this year. So let me put this one aside, and then um, I was getting a little bit tired of just working on my whip, so I decided to start something new. Um, something that was small that I could finish quickly. So actually last week, um, all week long, I worked on this. I started this like in the middle of the night, late Monday night, just to get it started. And I worked on it Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday and finished it. So this one is a Lizzie Kate and it's, um, I cannot count my day complete till needle thread and fabric meet. It's really cute. So I stitched it and I used um, all the DMC conversions. I did not use the over dyed. And this is my finish. Just think it's so cute. So I'm going to try to get this fully finished. I thought it'd be really cute to put next to my um, stitching spot. So that's a finish. That's my um, sac actual second fish finish for this year. And when I finish that patriotic one, I'll be my third. So, um, that's my finish. That's the only one I had. Let me see what else is next on my list. Okay, so I did my whips. I did my finish. I did my haul. No, I haven't done my haul. That's what I need to do next. So, I haven't been really um, buying a lot of stuff. But I did get a couple of things off Staff Shun Load. And uh, I bought this one here. Both of these came from um, the same person. And it was a lady that I met through uh, Blackbird Design, uh, fans of Blackbird Design Facebook. And she's actually the person who lent me the Blackbird Designs that I'm doing summer, uh, winter, uh, summer, fall, and winter, autumn and winter Blackbird design, the three that I'm doing together with the birds, and that I actually got this from somebody else, so I got to send them back to her, and um, she had these on, uh, <clears throat> I think Stash Unload or something, but she had this Blackbird design, and I've been wanting to get it, it's called My Heart is True, and it's, a, it's an out of print, and it's just got a bunch of small little smalls in it, um, I thought this was really cute for a little, that'd be so cute, hanging from a door. And there's not a lot of stitching on that, as you notice. I'm trying to find the ones that aren't actually the pattern, but this is the picture of it. Um, I thought this was so pretty. And it's a little needle book, and it's stitched, and it's all day long and all year through. Best of all, the things I do, I like being friends with you. And I thought that was really pretty for, like, you could do it for a little friend or uh, and give them the little needle, needle book. So I thought that was cute. But there's a couple other things in here I like. So I got that from her, and I also got this one. It's called Merry Christmas, 
uh, I mean, it's called Quaker Christmas by Midnight Stitching. And I thought that would be a really, like, a quick uh, stitch for Christmas time. I might do this for um, Stitch Mania. Start, it's a good start for Stitch Mania. Because it's only um, 146 by 89. So I like to do something a little bit smaller when I start stuff for Stitch Mania. And, you know, I do have 21 whips. <laughs> so I don't want to do too many. I've got, to whip, I've got to weed these whips down and stop starting things so I can actually do Stitch Mania this year. Um, I will not do, like, last year I think I did nine things for Stitch Mania. I think I finished um, six or seven of them. And I'm not sure if I'm even going to finish a couple of them that I started. We'll just see. But um, I might just do, since I did nine since it was 2019, I might do ten this year for since it's 2020. But there's no way I'm starting 20 things. I just don't. I have too many. Well, I do have that many things I can start. But I just have too many things. Unless I really uh, get a lot of stuff done between now and May, then... No, I won't be starting 20 things in May, but maybe 10. So anyways, that's kind of my goal for Stitch Mania is to get enough of my whips uh, finished that I can feel comfortable starting if, uh, 10 more. So um, the other thing I got for haul, I ordered from um, the thread and the front for Rosie Morning. Remember, I was going to start Rosie Morning that my uh, friend lent me. So I want to get started on this, and this week I'm going to start on it because I feel like I've, I've, you know, I'll have two finishes. I'll have three for the year, so I feel like okay, I've done, I finished three things in January, so I can start one thing in in uh, this month. And I mean, actually, one of them was a start, but so I got uh, the thread for that. This isn't thread, all the thread, but I did buy some thread for some projects that I'm kidding up, and the thread, some of this thread goes in Rosie Morning. So I can't wait to get that kitted up. And the other thing I bought since I'm finishing my Patriotic, I wanted to start another Patriotic because I did one Patriotic last summer with um, Real Housewives of Cross Stitch had the stitch along for um, Land That I Love. And I finished that and now I'm finishing this second one. So this is the one that I want to um, start on next. And it's a big project. So, you know, I don't think I'll get it done this year. But I will have something to work on. I've been dying to stitch this. If I can get it out of the package without tearing it. Okay. So it's by Plum Street Sampler. And it's called American Sampler. And I just love this sampler. And it was very interesting reading about... It had some special notes on it. And... Um, it said, this sampler was inspired by the great state of Virginia. Three of our founding fathers were born here, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and James Madison. And they represented, they are represented by the three flags. And then it says, the state flower is the flowering dogwood, which is on the right of the house, which is this right here. And um, the, by the colonial couple. And a cardinal is a state bird, which is perched in the tree. And then the state's motto Six Semper Tyrannus, which means thus always by two tyrants, is featured in the verse. I like everything about it except for that. So I'm thinking that they have a scripture on here, Psalms 13, 12. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. I'm thinking I might try to um, fit that in here at the bottom. Because that's really, I love that scripture. So um, this is what I'm going to start on next. I'm not sure exactly when, but I bought actually bought the called for fabric, which let me get this back in this package so I don't lose it. Which you're gonna be surprised. It's 36 count linen. <laughs> and it's Linter's Brew. You can't really see that color. Let me see. Maybe that's better. That's a better yeah. So it's really pretty. So that's 36 count, winter, count Winter's Brew. I, I wanted to do it on linen because it's something I know that I will just like keep up forever. So um, it's going to take me a while to stitch it because you know I'm slow on stitching on linen. As you see, I'm doing that uh, uh, that Blackbird uh, Anniversaries of the Heart on linen. It's, it's kind of slow going for me because I have to use a um, magnifying glass to stitch on linen. I cannot see it without. And um, 
with it being 36 count, definitely have to use a magnifying glass. And so then I just, I'm just stitching slow because I don't want to make any mistakes because I really hate ripping out and I've had to do that a lot lately. So, um, but yeah, that's one thing I'm going to start. And I did buy, um, a lot of the threads. I had a few of them and I may substitute some stuff for DMC, but when I'm working at, you know, when, as, as I go, I'll let y'all know when I make a decision. So that's another thing I got. And then I also got, um, I've been dying to stitch this. It's uh, uh, Silver Creek Samplers, and it's my Christmas wish, and list, I'm sorry, my Christmas list. So I wanna start this. This is gonna be my Christmas stitch when I start stitching. Uh, I wanna start like several different days, do different things, and I have a couple other Christmas things I need to finish, but this will be my next thing to start. For Christmas when I get some things caught up some of my whips down so I love that and then I saw um, uh, Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop had stitched this on black chalkboard and oh my gosh it was so beautiful um, Real Housewives of Cross Stitch uh, Priscilla had finished it for her and she, she showed it on the black I just like loved it and it is Prairie Schooler Christmas Alphabet Oh my gosh, it was just so beautiful on the black. It just really pops. So I'm thinking that I'm going to stitch this one too. But I'm going to, I think I'm going to do it on the black chalkboard. I mean, as much as I hate to stitch on black, I, I it was just beautiful. So that's a goal, but I don't know when I'll start that. But I went ahead and bought it because I wanted to stitch it. So, so that was my haul. Um... I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, oh, I wanted to let y'all know that I'm up to 1,500 subscribers. So I was really excited about that. So um, I want to do a giveaway on my next floss tube. So when I do my next floss tube, I'll be having a giveaway. And um, I haven't, I didn't have time to like kind of pull it together because I just got to 1500. And so um, I wanted to do something like really kind of special. So I'm thinking I might do a couple of different um, things that I can give away and so that more than one person can win. I'm so appreciative of y'all sticking with me even after Tina stopped filming with me. Um, I, I really enjoy doing this. I like talk, telling y'all what I'm doing. and. Um, it's been fun starting my um, Facebook group that go along with it so that we can have our stitching meetup. And so um, I want to do some kind of a, of a bigger giveaway than just a pattern or something that I gave, you know, just one thing. So um, I'm going to be getting that together. And um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to film again in either right before our next meetup or maybe right after. I'm really not sure. I need to look at my calendar because not this coming weekend, but the weekend after is actually when our our thing is. And I'm thinking I might wait till after because I'd like to maybe um, to do a few interviews at my uh, at our meetup so you can kind of uh, meet a few of the people who are interested you know, if they want to talk and, and show you what they're working on. And then I can add that to the end of my video. So that's kind of like my plan right now is to do it that way unless something comes up and I have to do it before. But... Um, yeah, so I'll be having a giveaway the next time, so y'all be looking for that. Um, and I think that's all. Oh, I did have on my list, too, real quick. I started making a list of things I started for this year. So I've had the two new starts so far this year, and one of them I've actually finished. The Anniversaries of the Heart, and then Lizzie Kate. I cannot count uh, my, my day complete. Those are the two things I've started. I finished that one, and... Um, so I'm just trying to keep up with, like, you know, work on my whips, kind of get them down. Um, I'm kind of mixing it up with different things that I'm working on. I'm trying to do maybe, like, I did the Patriotic, and I did Summer, and I did, you know, I'm going back today. I'm going to start uh, back on my, um, my Sheep Hear My Voice that I was doing. I'm almost, I mean, I'm so close to being finished that if I don't finish it today, I'll definitely finish it next Sunday and be able to show that to you because there's only like um, maybe an eighth of the pattern left to stitch. I just haven't, I've just kind of put it aside and didn't pick it up again. So um, I've been trying to kind of mix it up with what I'm working on. So I'm not working on just the you know, winter, all winter, because I'm getting kind of, 
uh, I kind of get burnt out with that. So I'm trying to, and then I want to mix in some samplers that I want to do. And um, so uh, this time I worked on my summer ABC. So maybe next time I'll work on my, the next two weeks I might work on my autumn one since it's not completed. And um, I need to get back to that sunflower in. My problem with that is the same thing with this patriotic one that I did. Um, Heart of America, you know I have to rip out all that yellow and the sun and the sunflowers and the, the I want to say the door and that's why I haven't worked on it. I do love it but I just I cannot stand the um, color that it ended up being. When I used that call for color it was just so um, dull. So maybe I'll rip that out this week and get back to working on that. Um, let's see what else I have on here. So yeah, I have quite a few. Oh, I forgot. I did work on my vintage flowers. I guess I didn't bring that in here. Let me see if I have it. Oh, here it is right here. I knew I worked on another whip. Look, here it is right here. Vintage flowers. I knew I worked on four things, but I couldn't remember. This is what it was. I have all my whips down here next to me. You would blow, you know, all 20, 21 of them. <laughs> so this is Jeanette Douglas. And I did work on this this time. And this is what I did. So I think I was over around in here, and so I, I went down and I added all that for the alphabet. I think I did from here over. And then I finished this one here, and then I started on this motif. I just love this pattern. It is so much fun to stitch. These motifs, I'm learning that I really love them, and I have a, quite a couple of different Quakers that I need to start because it's just so satisfying whenever you're stitching and you get one full, it's like, oh, what an accomplishment. I got that one done. Then I got this one done. Even though you're not getting the whole pattern done, sometimes with some patterns, it just feels like you're never going to finish because it's just one big thing. But with this, you've got your little mini motifs and stuff. So it's just a lot of fun. I really love this one. So that's another whip that I worked on. I forgot about that one. I think it was because I worked on it at the very beginning two weeks ago. And I forgot that I actually worked on it. I think that's all the ones I worked on. I don't think there's anything else. But this is the sunflower one I was telling y'all about. Let me show you real quick why I'm what I'm saying. Okay, so this is the actual picture. I know some of y'all remember this. See how bright and pretty and just sunny that is. And I used the call for color. And look how dull it this is. It's just so dull. It just does not do justice to the pattern. So I actually bought another color and it was a different, I think this is it right here. This is called Sunflower 2. And I just feel like this is such a, a much prettier color. To do on there but I'll have to test it and see if it's not too dark but I bought a couple of different yellows to try on here and what I'm gonna do is just take out the door probably and just practice you know just try a couple of stitches on there and see how it looks and then decide on which one I'm gonna use so but you see how much I have to rip out I have to rip out the door all this up here and I'm not I don't all these little sunflowers down here. I don't know if I'm going to rip those out. We'll see. And then also um, this in here. So that's a lot of ripping out to do. I might just maybe every day say, okay, for 30 minutes I'm going to rip out some of this sunflower pattern. <laughs> okay. Just take it slowly. Because it's just like, uh, I wish I had stopped stitching whenever I started not liking it. And, but I just kept saying, well, maybe it'll get better. It didn't get better. So. I just love these little bags. I know I put these on uh, one of our other floss tubes. I got them off Amazon, but they're so nice because you can just see the little pattern in them. So, and this is the sheep one I was telling you about. This is the one I'm going to work on today. I said I was done. Now I'm not. This is the pattern. It's by Little House Needleworks. Apparently, I really like Little House because I just noticed when I was making my list that a lot of my patterns are Little House that I started. And this is where I'm at. So, 
So all I have left are, let's see, I have a house in a tree and a big, uh, one of these little, um, so I have, let me show you on the pattern. This is all I have left is from this house over and then I'm, and then down here in this border. That's all I have left. And that shouldn't take me, you know, more than this Sunday and next Sunday. If not, you know, if I really work on it hard today, maybe I'll get, even get it done today. But this is my, this was my Sunday stitch for a while and I haven't been, you know, worked on it lately. So that's what I'm going to do is get back to that. So that's kind of my plans. Work on my uh, whips every day, uh, 30 minutes a day, or one strand of floss, whichever comes first. And I pick one a week and I focus on the one that I'm working on that week. So that's four whips that I'm going to touch um, every uh, month. And I figure if I do four, I can you know, possibly get some of them. I'm trying to pick a few of them that are close to being done so that I'm actually doing some finishes. And, um, yep, that's it. So, uh, don't forget next time I'm going to be having a giveaway. Don't forget that, um, you can join our, um, Facebook group, Stitching With My Bestie. My Instagram is love underscore to stitch. Um, I'm so excited to have over 1,500 subscribers now. Thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, you're welcome to subscribe. And if you um, click the bell, it'll it'll notify you when I upload the videos. I'm going to be probably uploading the next one. The 15th is our meetup. So I might do it on the 16th. Go ahead and film my part. I might do it on the 15th. Uh, I might film ahead. might do my whips and and uh, finishes and haul and stuff the day before and then film you know the stuff at the um at our meetup and then uh put it together and upload it after i get home that evening but we'll just see how it works out so be looking for something in a couple of weeks i thank you so much for um joining me and um i will see you next time thanks bye